What I wouldn't know, it's beyond my imagination. I keep my pants up high and my zipper closed, and people wonder why I never get rid of those awesome looking sunglasses that I got at the eBay at a special price. Anyway, you get the picture right. People love to hate a play, no matter wrong or right. What I like makes no difference. As they go, get a light.
Hi everyone. Turn the music a little bit. Hello, good evening. <laughs> nice to see you in the chat. Hello. <laughs> so, tonight it is time for more Star Trek fan art. But before I get into it, uh, just a quick shout out to uh, the lovely people at Verse Studios who are publishing D&D uh, role playing supplement this August. It's now, for, it's time, it's going to be published soon. So um, yeah, I'm sponsored by uh, by them and uh, to did, I did some fan art for Arclands, which is coming out uh, this August. And um, yeah, this is, I just wanted to mention it again. <laughs> and uh, if you're still interested in the, in the Arclands supplement and in the publishing stuff, then you should definitely check out their Twitter or go say hi on the Discord if you're interested in it. And um, yeah, then you'll probably be up to date once it publishes where you can get it from, unless you got it on Kickstarter or something like I did. <laughs> but yeah, um, just wanted to give a shout out to them. Thanks for sponsoring my streams. And yeah, next week I'll be doing another um, Arkland stream, probably my last one as far as I know. Um, so yeah, tune in for that. But tonight I'm gonna be doing some Star Trek fan art. <laughs> Also, hi, oh, hi, Orkjbalter. That was my keyboard slowly sliding off my table. And thanks for hosting. I'm still sliding. Ahem. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready now. The usual problem of this desk and everything is slightly too small for everything. Oh, it's so blue behind me. Oh, yeah. My lights are on, that's why it's so blue. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I forgot my fairy lights. <laughs> this is my Star Trek light. <laughs> I like blue too. Okay. Okay, how's this? <laughs> uh, we had to fiddle with us, the sound settings again yesterday because for the Star Trek stream and the microphone still just kind of, you know, resets itself because why not? <laughs> but there we are. There we go. Okay, so have fun with your little stream avatars. And I'm gonna have fun with drawing uh, Uli Lindner's character tonight because today it's uh, Uli Lindner day <laughs> and um, yeah he played at Nobulon, the Nobulon astrometrics specialist Ensign Renix so I'm gonna be drawing uh, his character tonight. <laughs> I massively enjoyed his cameo because it led to lots of funny shenanigans. Um, especially uh, the somewhat inadvertent breaking of the EPS conduits all over the ship because <laughs> some people <laughs> slightly overloaded the... Uh, just ever so slightly overloaded the... Um, the uh, the holodeck controls by creating a massive simulation of basically the entire quadrant it seemed so this is what yeah it kind of broke the ship a little bit and they still had to fight with that yesterday in the new episode because everything was still a little bit broken and they cut the power to astrometrics again so i'm fairly certain that uh, ensign renix was not very happy about that <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> he was a great Denobulan, he really was. I hope we'll see him again. 
<laughs> will there be a second season of the USS Hawking? Well, I don't know. Um, I, I hope there will be at some point. That would be really fun. Uh, if I think the best thing you can do um, is if you like the series, then let other people know about it. And um, I think the more <laughs> the more people watch it, the more likely it is that it's going to be... <laughs> Well, there's going to be a point in making a second season, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, spread the news, uh, tell your friends, anyone who likes Star Trek and role-playing games. Um, so, I hope, uh, yeah, it would be nice if there was another, another season of the continuing adventures. That is if they don't all die in the finale or something. I mean, that might still happen. Who knows? <laughs> I don't, with all the shenanigans they get up to, and they've already broken the ship. <laughs> so. You know, I might not be surprised actually if, if everything just, <laughs> uh, you know, goes a bit, goes a bit wonky. Right, uh, we're gonna need a good pose for this Denobulon. I remember he was quite uh, cheery and uh, a bit nerdy. Super curious. <laughs> Likes holo programming, astrophysics, uh, warp, felt, warp field dynamics, one of his things he's interesting in. Pretty much interested in everything. Um, so we need a sort of a nerdy guy reference picture. Hmm. Well, or rather, the guy can look however, we just need a, a nerdy pose. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I mean... You just go for a simple pose. <laughs> No, you can't have people with, you know, hands in their pockets because... No pockets. <laughs> but he's gonna have to wear a uniform, so I reckon I'm um, just gonna have some guy. Maybe with like the hands on hips. Hang on. Hands on hips. Yeah, I did all my... Uh... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I did all my research. Um, actually, that's not bad. <laughs> this pose is quite good. <laughs> it might, I might use that. Ignore the mime outfit, but it looks really silly. But there we go. I found a pose that I like. Studio shot of handsome man posing with hands on hips. Stock photo. Here we go. Oh wow, there's different poses with the same guy, but let's not... Uh... <laughs> let's not uh, overdo ourselves. Uh, no, not, let's not outdo ourselves. Scratching his head. Yeah, scratching his head. Actually, I just found that. Actually, I'll show you the second one and you can pick. You can pick people. There you go. Here he is again. <laughs> Actually, it's good. It's got kind of a wider face. Um, and you know, seeing as I have to b make him these like head ridges with the Donobulin. <laughs> Oh, is that Chavez as an in ensign Chavez? It might be. <laughs> Who had the bridge yesterday, I believe. So, which one is better? <laughs> this guy or this guy? Which pose do you prefer? I think I like the, the head scratchy one. <laughs> Let's do a little sketch. 
little exploratory sketch. So the Denobulans, they have ears, but they're like, sort of, you know, sort of like this. Do Denobulans have beards? Are there Denobulans with beards? No. Not in the Star Trek I've seen so far. But, um... I would, well, and Uli doesn't have a, a beard, so well, not currently at any rate. Yeah, D D session yesterday. Oh, was that the D D session I've heard uh, so much about? Is that the Tomb of Annihilation session, or is that a different D D session? Can never say anything wrong about um, I reckon the sleeves on a Starfleet uniform would be a little bit longer than this uh, mime shirt. I didn't hear of you all the cares. A lot of DD sessions yesterday then. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun. Well, you should definitely check up on the latest episode. Your um I think you were on the bridge. Oh yeah, you were at Con, I think, Chowis. Or well you rather Ensign Chowis was flying the ship. I think Amati was off duty. Okay, be honest, how silly is this pose? <laughs> is it A, very silly, B, extremely silly, C, silly? You know what? <laughs> I think I like this. Hey Vandal, hello Roach. <laughs> mm, yeah, I think this is uh, this is the pose. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna make it like a little bit more con well, a bit more thinking and not a bit less like a bit less um, sexy smiley. I guess I'm gonna try and make it a little bit more. You know, just starting with the eyebrows would be like... And then his hair... What kind of hair has he got? A bit less uh, fluffy around the edges. Could wear glasses and then... Has there ever been a Star Trek character with some sort of glasses except Jordi LaForge? <laughs> Yeah, we talked about this before. Um, no, the only Star Trek character I can remember was Kirk when he put on his reading glasses, but I haven't seen any of them actually putting on glasses or wearing glasses, because that's just, not, I don't know, I guess you just have your eyes corrected in the future. I mean, if you can build something like the thing that Geordi wears, you know, you, you, you'd reckon... You reckon they could probably... I mean, we, we can do eye surgery, right? Right now. <laughs> so if we can do it, then surely in Star Trek that's not a problem anymore to just fix people's eyesight. about 
drawing Uli Lindner is that there is absolutely no shortage of pictures of him, not on his own Facebook account, but on other people's Facebook accounts, thanks to the Uli Lindner Day, um, well, how, what should we call it? Uh, the Uli Lindner Day shenanigans. Actually, before I erase all of that, let me make a copy of it. So, it's here. so I can uh, see what I was doing. Let's change the mouse a little bit. A bit smaller. <laughs> I feel a little underrepresented. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I know, me too. But hey, if it was the 24th century, I'd get my eyes lasered as well. Eye surgery. Oh, yeah, it can go wrong. I, I know someone where it went wrong as well, but I think it was a bit of a um, specific situation in that case as well. Uh, I have a friend who got her eyes uh, surgery done in, back home in Colombia and she's fine. And... Um, you know, and I also know, uh, you know, Tim, Tim got his eyes done and, and that worked well, so. It, um, I think it's becoming more and more common. So yeah, I've got uh, my reference pictures of uh, of Oli Lindner's face. I'm just trying to draw an approximation of his uh, mouth, which is uh, difficult because I've um, <laughs> got a wonderful array of uh, fo fo photos here. Basically, uh, Nico Abairi and everyone changing their photos to a picture of Oli over the past few years and you can just uh, look them all up so um you know data protection is horrible obviously but in terms of doing fan out of people fantastic <laughs> okay give him a slightly different nose Good evening. Hello. <sighs> it's 
still forever looking up um, Star Trek uniform reference pictures and I don't think there's one that has um, a shot of someone lifting their arm. <laughs> so, don't... Ah, there it is. Uh, that's a good one. Okay, so... There's a good shot of someone at least showing a little bit of arm. Let me show you... Whoops. So the uniform is firmly sort of on top of the arm, so it's almost straight. You could probably can't lift your arm. I mean, I suppose. It might be difficult. <laughs> hi, Mary. Also, hi, Jill Tour. <laughs> Any relation to Bill Door? Matching the space theme. A draw drawing request. An alien cow with three eyes and funny horns. <laughs> yeah, sure, I can do that. I should probably save this picture. Eh. You saved up your points for that. Mm. And it's in remix. <laughs> we also discovered yesterday that uh, it sounds like uh, Remix is the uh, shipping name between Re and Varix, but um, as uh, as Myri said. Um, you know, there is a shipping name for them, but you know, of course there's a, sh there's a shipping name for everyone. I've seen weird stuff on the internet, of course there's shipping names. Okay, right, it's still a little cow. <laughs> you have some more points left, oh dear. <laughs> picture of a cow. cow. Cows are really cute. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bad choice. Um, there we go. That reminds me, I think the last time I legit drew a cow on the stream was when uh, I had the request of the cow paladin. Um, which was also a very funny drawing request. say three eyes, right? Let me get this over here. 
cows are so cute and fluffy. Yes, they are. <laughs> They're cute until you get too close to them. <laughs> then they get really scary. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I have a, I have respect for cows. Let's put it that way. Was it three eyes? I have a, I have a great respect for cows. I was once. Uh, visiting my parents in Sweden and uh, there's a lake and I have a, a little kayak there that I sometimes go out into the lake with when I'm there and um, and there used to be cows on that uh, meadow there next to the lake and uh, I once found out that uh, apparently my kayak um, had some kind of mesmerizing effect on these cows. Because I was walking past them and I was pulling my kayak on a little trolley, right? Like, like you have these um, little wagons to pull your boat on. And um, s there were all these cows sort of going and you know and then I was walking past them with my little boat and suddenly they all just went and I went just keep walking and the cows went and it was very scary and I have no idea why the cows were looking at me so I just sort of started walking a little bit faster because suddenly all that fence between me and the cows didn't seem all that large anymore <laughs> and I was like just a little bit um, intimidated and uh, they all started looking at me <laughs> and then I just about just about you know made it to the almost the end of the road <laughs> Suddenly, all the cows started walking. They all just slowly started walking and followed me with my little kayak. I was like, oh shit, oh shit. And all the cows just kept walking. I was like, oh god, please don't, please don't start running. Oh no. And, uh, you know, the, yeah. I made it to the lake with no incident. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, it turns out that uh, the woman who owned the meadow and the cows, she often went to feed them and she had this large um, she had this very large orange um, tub or something that she would draw with her to feed the cows. And according to my mom, it looked a bit like the boat I was drawing. So the cows must have thought that I was there to feed them. And I was like, um, <laughs> you know, it was scary. Supposed to be an alien cow, isn't it? Well, I'm trying to make it like a chibi cow. Oh, 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 I'm being prodded, I'm being poked. Um... 
Yeah, I'm afraid the... I know the Acklands logo is hiding it a bit, but... Um, <laughs> sorry. I kind of have to keep it that way, otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> The cows were like, oh boy, she's going to the lake in this. We have to follow her and look if she can make it. <laughs> that boat doesn't look safe. Mouse is gone. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. There we go. We'll make it a sort of an anime manga cow with uh, chibi legs and, uh, you know, ridiculously exaggerated eyes. I love your art requests. They're always so adorable. <laughs> you know, like I didn't know I wanted to draw a cow until you asked me to draw a cow. There we are. alien thing mm, have to scroll up three eyes and funny horns If it looks like a crazy straw, does it count like a funny as a funny horn? I suppose if it's an alien cow, then um, it should be sort of uh, hovering. If anyone comes online now, they'd be like, 
Wait, I thought this was Star Trek fan art and then it's like a cow. There you go, space cow. <laughs> I have to save this one, <laughs> enlightened cow. <laughs> I mean, patrons, of course you get letters. You don't get nearly enough letters from me. Don't worry about it. I am I am very negligent this year. Space cow. I'll try to do more. <laughs> cow trek. <laughs> Yes, that is what this is, cow trek. <laughs> oh, I need to do some sketches of the aliens that we come up with. I, I want to sketch the aliens from last night because I think they're going to look really cool, but I haven't had the time. I'm going to have to do a whole thing of just sketching all the extra aliens, to be honest. <laughs> cow trek. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready to go back to uh, Ensign Renix? Let's see, where were we? We were fixing his uniform. There we go. Now, let's look at his face a bit more. Let's get my reference for all his face up again. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> right, we still have to turn him into the Nobule, and we mustn't forget that. He's still human at the moment. But I was working on getting his face to look a bit more like, uh, like Uli. Okay, so he's got the chin. Let's do that again. So I've got the chin here. He's got a slightly more pointy chin, I think. And then the Nubulans have this like chin ridge. 
that goes up like this and then they've got the the hair would be a little bit further back there wouldn't be any sideburns and the hair would be just a bit further backwards because they've got these head ridges because of course they've got head ridges because that is the number one distinguishing feature in the galaxy is head ridges because it just makes life of the costume and species designer so much easier <laughs> do they all have their hair back i guess they do So he's got this little face ridge, slightly raised, like a sort of, it sort of goes down into the nose. Yeah, his hair would be have to be a little bit further back. stars in his eyes and in his hair so there you go so Not so heart shaped, it's more I'm sort of down from here, and then they've got the eyebrow. Um, For the subscription oh my god tier three <laughs> thanks corgi time dancing time thank you <laughs> and good evening okay so they've got uh yeah it's got these ridges they sort of go they look a bit like the side view of deep space nine the pylons. I think that's good. And they've got sort of these uh, like the hair is kind of uh, outside of the ridges. This is certainly, you know, this is not the most complicated um, design I've had to draw because I think the cat was a bit more difficult. But at the same time, the cat I could just use. You know cat people as a reference and cat people are quite ubiquitous in media so you get a lot of different um you know just to say they're everywhere so you know they, you get a lot of uh, cat people you get cat people in, in the elder scrolls series you have cat people in pretty much everything so And you can just use all of these as reference, to be perfectly honest. Got these 
sort of smile muscles here that uh, can, you know, turn into a really scary wide grin if, if they want. <laughs> but yeah, but Denobulin is really... I've never drawn a Denobulin before, obviously, and... Uh, It's, um... I'm just trying to get the face right. Uh, okay, I've got these sort of, this sort of head ridges here. Also, to be fair, most of the nobulas we've seen were a little bit older, and I think Ensign Renix, I have no idea how old he is, but I suppose he's... Um... I don't know, I just assume a lot of the ensigns are young, but he could just be a, one of those ensigns who's never had a career or something. I guess if he's even always just been in astrometrics. Okay, and then the ridge is this sort of, they have a sort of reptilian They almost overlap, I think. At least in Phlox's case. I've got Phlox as my main reference, of course. You can also get some good publicity stills of the characters. So. so the ridges seem to go sort of a little bit further. There's another problem here. <laughs> if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to make um, make uh, some glasses, it would have to be denobulin glasses. <laughs> Ears sort of go up to the head like this, and then they go into the neck. And they have sort of ridges as well. No, they don't go into the neck, they go to the side of the cheek. It just looks like his neck because he's got a bit of a wider neck. But. In, I've got a picture of Flox, one of Flox's wives as well, from that one. This is difficult. <laughs> okay. Well, it 
looks like a Star Trek character though, so, so it's okay. Is the ship full of Ensign Kims? <laughs> yes, I think it is. <laughs> Unless you start promoting people, I guess it's full of crewmen who are never, probably never gonna be um, ensigns. So um, it's the. Uh... <laughs> Try and fix this hand a little bit so that um, don't struggle quite so much. There, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do me for a sketch. Okay. <sighs> How's everyone doing? Did anybody watch Star Trek last night? Did anybody watch the show last, the, 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 the Let's Play last night? <laughs> <laughs> Are you all catching up? Are you all part of the VOD squad? Me torturing Anzo's character. Oh, fun times. Okay, so this is my references and these are my sketches. I'm just gonna put them all into the correct folders.
do a bit of line art. <laughs> nice cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. You're going to write an episode guide? Aw, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Is it going to be one of those funny episode guides? Or is it, is it going to be really serious? <laughs> cool I'm glad you enjoyed it oh before I start line arting let's make this a little bit bigger already writing the episode guide. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'll check that out. Florian's Star Trek episode and guide. <laughs> Star Trek Adventures, USS Hawking. Oh my god, that's amazing! <laughs> Hang on, let me share that um, in the chat again. I think you probably can't post it um, properly. I'll do that for you. That's really cool. <laughs> Thanks for the link. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a look at that. The B plot for the players that can't participate in the adventure is always fun. Yeah, I mean, that's um, absolutely one, like, a great deal of the fun of the. Um, of the Star Trek uh, Adventures campaign is is the chat. I, I wish as a DM I don't have the time or the the space to read the chat. I wish I could, but I know Myri's reading it and uh, it they are, and Nico's reading it. So um, I <laughs> and uh, uh, Max also tells me that it's great that people just have so many ideas and. Yeah, just have fun with the characters and stuff, and I, uh, I think it's fantastic, fantastic community experience, and that we've named all of our ensigns and crewmen and crewwomen as people from the chat, you know. I think I'll have to fix that the sketch that's uh, horribly mismatched eyes. Oh goodness. Okay. 
Okay, uh, there you go. My best ideas last time was the Klingon counselor. We have a Klingon counselor? I thought we had a... Is it a Klingon? Some other person has already named themselves counselor as well in the chat, uh, so you can decide who, who's, the, who's the counselor. But um, Klingon counselor is so the other Klingon who's not Lieutenant Bilal. <laughs> Nobulans have kind of strange eyes. <laughs> you knocked the idea as well. <laughs> That's good. The Nobulans have. Is it physiology? Back ridges. just a picture thing, I haven't really mentioned it. Oh. And Centura. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> now I see why they called... Uh, I think someone mentioned an Encentur. And I think I objected because I said what kind of a name is that, but now that I see that it's your nickname, I, uh, I understand. You have to understand I do not see the chat so I can't tell um, I can't tell where the names come from. <laughs> Sounds to me like they're just making them up. I'm having difficulty. I wanna sorry. I'm sorry. Oh wait. Just draw the mouth on top again. It's just, I'm not quite getting it right. That's the thing that really makes a, a difference in... Rengi hand-to-hand fighter or Vulcan businessman sounds about as obvious as a Klingon counselor. <laughs>
I'm doing my best here, but this is a difficult one. <laughs> I have to sort of alternate between looking at pictures of Uli's face and then pictures of flocks. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, 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 okay. So let's give him a bit of a jawline. Now I'll have to look at a picture of flocks again. <laughs> There we go, we have chin ridges. I think I'll have to make them a little bit more central. There we go. Lines are a bit wobbly tonight. He looks a bit old because of the, the many like wrinkles I've given him, but they're not supposed to be wrinkles, it's just got this kind of this what his eyes look like. I guess it's the eyebrows as well, maybe because the denobulan eyebrows have this kind of like you know, this sort of this sort of uh, bushy quality, it makes them look like old professors. Thornado, if ever a K 
characters named after me, they'll be Andorian. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> we can we can have that next episode if you want. If we need another ensign, I'll make a note of it. the trickier part you know there's the the ridges <laughs> Man, I'm sweating here, not just because of the heat, but also because of the, you know... <laughs> I mean, you can tell what it's supposed to be, I think. This is where his hairline begins. Hey, 
detailed. I, I, you know, with with other people's faces, like with Re, for example, I, I try to incorporate the, you know, different ethnicity combined with Anzem's face kind of thing. It was a difficult part. Now it's the combine alien features with person's face. <laughs> it's a completely different challenge. Okay, next next set of ridges. I need a drink. <laughs> Goodness, okay. <laughs> Very warm in here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ridges part two. So I think I've got the hang of it now. So if you um, so the sort of um. It's too forward. Okay. Ooh. So, uh, The ones on this side of the face aren't as uh, prominent because they're, you know, that side of the face.
Let's remove some of these wrinkles so it doesn't quite look so old. Okay. How does that look? Okay, we have um, we have an approximation of uh, the face ridges. Now he's got an ear as well. <laughs> this is the, this is not going to get finished today, is it? Um, well, thank goodness, you know I also have to draw two hands, but at least one of them doesn't really have any fingers, so. Fox's wife, come here. So she's got a sort of a normal ear kind of thing. Um, but then the sort of What's the bottom side? Yeah. And then the hair would be like... I guess how it would just be in a human, so... Okay, let's get to a bit more hair.
there we are. Is this face? What do you think? Paint a bit more hair over his ears because it looks a bit more natural. And just these sort of bushels. This was definitely the hardest part. <laughs> this was definitely the, the part where I'm not sure if it looks like Oli, but I mean, it's it was equally difficult making Franz look like a cat. So here we are. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will leave it for now and I will uh, continue with the uniform because uh, I think that's um, important to... If I want to finish this then I have to move on at some point. Bigger rank pip. <laughs> there we are. Ooh, haven't saved in a while. I just realized that the collar is at the completely wrong height. I didn't even notice that I was so focused on the face ridges.
I'm not sure if uh, any of you actually noticed this, but making smooth lines has become so much easier since I've got this tablet. You know, I, I've only had this for a few months. I think I bought it in May. And look at it. I just joined up the two lines and it wasn't a problem. Oh, I mean, you will remember how long I struggled sometimes to get, you know, lines sort of connected on my other tablet without the screen. It was just infuriatingly difficult. And it, you know, I mean, that's, I mean, obviously, if you're talking as someone who's, uh, you know, drawing with a mouse or something, then of course this is a joke to you, but... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like the difference is so noticeable that sometimes I even forget because it's now so easy. It's uh, it's crazy. So that's the shoulder pad. Where would the shoulder pad sort of here start? I guess sort of here. I'm just gonna sort of make a. Also, I realized looking at the Deep Space Nine uniforms again, I should have definitely made these lines a bit more noticeable on the other characters because in some of them I only hinted at them. And, uh, but they're actually quite noticeable, they're quite visible. I think with like Rio, some of the others, I didn't even bother painting any lines in. If I fix them up now, I would probably do that. Especially, I'm sometimes a bit sad because I drew Myri's character first. And I think now I've got a bit more experience with how to draw these characters in the first place. I should draw her again because... I, I now know a bit more what I'm doing and I've gotten a bit in, more into it. And uh, I don't want her, to, her character to look... I think I, I sort of finished her character fairly quickly. And I remember at the time I was super proud of actually finishing it in the stream. Because that's still... Um, was quite new for me because I've been so used to struggling with the with the tablets um, and uh, you know it wasn't perfect and the lineup wasn't perfect but it is getting better <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's it's the practice of this one specific thing namely drawing these characters in these uniforms also felt definitely a little bit more comfortable DMing last night. I think we, we had some chats here about it and stuff and Max has helped me a lot and um, you know he critiques but it's also very helpful to to have someone to f give you feedback um, Uh, yeah, I do appreciate that. And sometimes I was really like worried after a session that I hadn't done well or some things hadn't gone as much as I as well as I thought. But um, yesterday went okay and I was happy with it. Ah, you know, I don't have to draw the belt. I think I'll just I think I'll just draw the here basically
Okay, now he just needs his badge. This time the correct way around. Starfleet badge and um, yes, yeah, need some kind of very faint idea that this is where the arm is. Uh, there we go. So bad. Probably won't be able to see this line anyway because the uniform is going to be black, but there we are. <laughs> it's there because I want it to be there. Damn, that's not bad. I think the biggest challenge is trying not to make him look too old because. Yeah, just the nobulence, man. It's just because. I suppose Flox's wife didn't look too old, but uh, John Livingsley, I suppose, looked a little bit older with that particular makeup on. Right, color time. I think his makeup is a little bit like, I say makeup, but you know what I mean? The head ridges are a little bit at an off angle in relation to his head. So I'm just gonna fix the hairline here a little bit. Cause I think that's just a bit too layer and off we go uniform okay probably make the Lücken schließen to the lower level because I was quite thorough with my um, with my lines today. You have this this function here when you're filling that you can fill the gaps of the lines automatically so if you have um, gaps in hair for example. Oh that was such a useful function. <laughs> gonna open you know Rhee's character um, because then we can have a reference for the exact shade of blue I used. Consistency. 
Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice to hear. I'm glad you can tell us some kind of progress. <laughs> that's uh, that's very gratifying. I am glad. I am um, very self-conscious sometimes, so sometimes it's good to hear that everything is not completely weird <laughs> to the viewers. There we go. Got the star fleet blue. Oh, I forgot the stripe on his arm. Again. Um, He's Starfleet Blue, Science Blue, I should say, because he works in astrometrics and is part of the science team. So technically he's an underling of Lieutenant Ree. <laughs> well, not just technically, he is, an, he is a member of Lieutenant Ree's team. <laughs> That's what he is. By the way, is the music coming through this time? Because last time people were like, what, there's music? Just curious, have you been able to hear it? Because I've been rather quiet, so, you know. Feel free to tell me off for being too quiet. It's the concentration on Denobul and head ridges. <laughs> Sometimes I get super concentrated and then... There we go. Rather light, and then the music's perfect. Yay! Thank you. Woo. <laughs> Hello, ice blow. <laughs> fill in everything because I don't want there to be a gap between where the lines meet. So that's a problem with using the fill tool obviously is that it leaves gaps. And so I'm trying to fill them all in. Especially with the skin. It's really annoying when you're shading later. And then By the way, yes, I'm having a good time. <laughs> By the way, what's going on with Orkenspalter tonight? Is there another community stream? Is there another chat about games? I didn't see anything earlier. Nico announced my stream, but I didn't see the um, There was anything else going on tonight? I was a bit. I'm always a bit late with realizing these things. <laughs> Apologies. Okay, now the filling the gap has to be switched on again. I think. There we go. I'll just switch off the hair for a moment. It makes it easier to see the contrast. And then I'll have to fiddle with the contrast a bit because, man, blonde hair is difficult. <laughs> It's one of those things. It's like it's not a color. You know, it's not yellow. It's not beige. It's blonde. It's like everyone would be immediately able to identify, I think, the difference between blonde and yellow or blonde and orange. But it's one of the things I find really difficult. Like what kind of color is this? It's like a it's like a sort of pasty 
yellow, I guess, but it's also more orange than green, so it's kind of an orangey yellow, but it's very light. It's actually a bit of a horrible color, I think, to paint because it looks so colorless in a way. I I mean, you know, I've I've drawn portraits of my mom and she's very blonde, but she's got that kind of white blondeness to her, so I think we'll have to fiddle with the colors a little bit here. Nice job yesterday, Kratz. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we had fun. Lovely. Tomorrow is community day. Nico's playing a game. Oh yeah, they still have a bunch of deadlines going on. That's true. Today's free. Yeah, I think there's nothing going on tonight. Well, if there is, let me know. But, um, so we've got no one to raid, I'm afraid. <laughs> Unless you, uh, if you have any suggestions of who we should raid after the channel, uh, after the stream is over, please let me know. But if there's nothing, um, following, then I could, um, I could over, over stream a little bit over the half hour mark. If there's no one else after me, then I can finish the coloring. If you guys don't mind, I'll just stay online a bit and work on the colors until I'm done. Uh, I don't have to work tomorrow, so. contrast I think the interesting one will be the skin so let's start with that let's make some details okay there we go I'll put some white into the eyes never white remember ne don't never make them completely white because that is not what the color is. It looks, if you make it white, it looks like you either forgot to fill in the color or, you know. <laughs> I guess his eye color is like blue or green. I'm not quite sure. It'd be hard to see in these pictures. I'll make it a sort of bluish green. like a desaturated green. <laughs> Can you imagine, you know, as a graphic designer or someone who works with colors a lot and then you come to like a, a passport office and you have to put your like details in and I'll just be like, eye color, this desaturated green. I beg your pardon. <laughs> work tomorrow you're jealous <laughs> yeah oh good thanks for the feedback on the contrast my contrast on this monitor is a much higher than it is on your monitor Max says this every time after the stream he's always like oh the colors look so different on the screen because this screen is very bright so um, I'm afraid the colors are always slightly different uh, they always look slightly different to me I'll shade it all and you'll be able to see it a bit more anyway. Bright build. <laughs> oh, oh, Ollie. Oh, oh, ouch. <laughs> Very nice. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. RGB, no better, like hex code. You'll be like, what's, what's, you know, uh, what's my, what's my eye color? Um, it's, um, you know, it's, uh, 5FCAF6. <laughs> you know, ha hashtag 5FCAF6. <laughs> Yeah. 
yes, no work tomorrow. I work Monday to Thursday. Um, in my regular job, that is. And then I've got this job in addition. So I work Monday to Thursday in an office and then the rest of the time I do this. So you can, uh, that's a big thank you. Uh, this is a nice chance to say thank you to everyone in the chat who's one of my patrons and uh, who make it possible for me to earn some money with this art. Thank you very much. <laughs> Doodle cue. <laughs> Hi Dex. <laughs> Hi Flo, nice to see you. <laughs> what? I've just been at it. What, what, what did you want to add me for? Hmm. <laughs> so, is something going on or? <laughs> you want me to braid back? It's got nothing to do with um, with any of this. Okay, I've got one suggestion for whose channel to raid. <laughs> if anybody's interested in play in watching someone play uh, XCOM with um, uh, with a Warhammer 40k, Warhammer 40k uh, mod, <laughs> but. Um, Oh, I feel so exposed. <laughs> I guess raiding someone is the thing where you, um, you know, you always get it always shows in the chat as well. There's a lot more interesting shading going on for once. Normally the human faces on the uh, um, were always a little bit boring because you didn't have anything to do. It was just face. <laughs> I really, um, uh, I really like painting Myri as well because um, you know I got to I got to draw the the nice little trill spots for the emperor. <laughs> Platform of blood, God. <laughs> the wider grin, at least that's how you remember flocks. Slightly desaturated skin tone. Yeah, well, the, the references for the skin tone that I've got are a little bit more um, uh, saturated, actually, but I'm also sort of. Um, I'm not just using. Um, I'm also using um, a picture of Uli Lindner as a reference. <laughs> so it's not just flocks, I'm also referencing uh, someone else.
Yeah, the uh, the wider grin, I agree, is definitely a um a, a thing. I also tried. To I've, I very much had a hard time working on the on the mouth because I tried to make it look like Uli's mouth and he does have not a very wide grin, so I was trying to make it more look more like Uli basically. <laughs> That's why it's not so super wide. Um, so you'll forgive me that my reference is also... Um, Is also someone else than just an obulin. <laughs> okay, now we've got the problem of as soon as you emphasize lips, it looks like a woman. You know, men have lips too. <laughs> you can never emphasize them on a painting, and it looks like a you know drag queen. It's Really annoying. <laughs> okay, I also want to just add a little bit of detail shading to these ridges because they have sort of quite a dark. So sort of this shadow thing going on. Well, if no one else has any uh, any channels that are that you like to watch that you would like me to raid, then sure. But I will. Try to get this coloring done if no one has any problems with that. I mean, obviously, feel free to leave if I'm taking too long, but might as well finish it, right? <laughs> now, this is a very good example of the more details a character has, the longer it takes to draw. <laughs> you know, if it's more complicated because of um, head ridges and uh, jewelry. There you go, just a little bit of shading. Okay, and then we'll also do the typical
bit of um, slightly lighter shading. Just to emphasize the Shadows from the hair. Okay, drop shadow from the face. I have to be honest, I'm not paying too much attention to where I'm putting these. I'm just kind of improvising. Sometimes that's also okay, I think. You know, with shadows, they don't always have to be clockwork precise. Soften it a little bit so it doesn't look quite so harsh because the ridges aren't that, you know, making that harsh shadows. For a start. We we'll need another layer with uh, just some highlights. Just a, just a bit of a shiny on his forehead. I'm obviously going very much improvised by the picture I've got here of uh, Phlox, which is a, is, a, is a still photograph, like a promotional still, and therefore, of course, it looks um, very shiny. <laughs> Florian <laughs> and Bob Ross feelings and happy thoughts. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Hey, <laughs> Schnuffelhase. I'm glad you like it too. Having fun with your resins. Thank you. 
I, I realize there's not much rhyme or reason to these uh, highlights, but hey, you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> It, it doesn't really matter, honestly. <laughs> now it looks like he's lit from the back, which is cool. Okay, now we need to do the same with the dark red from earlier. That's a new trick I picked up from a painter on YouTube, by the way. He said, um, you know, shadows are red. Dark shadows are deep red or something. Uh, it's this Dutch painter who does... Um, Portraits, and I watched some of his videos. It was quite impressive. I was quite hooked. Some interesting uh, interesting observations for um, portrait painting and how to use colors. Um, yeah, so before I always used to make the colors dark blue because I don't know, blue shadows is just kind of felt right, right? But um, now that he suggested the red, I'm actually quite happy with that too. Warm shadows. Why not? Shadows don't always have to be cold. They can also be warm. Now we want to give some of these uniform parts a slightly better shading, so we get a bit of a deeper dark blue that we've already got, and this is, yeah, this is not black, but just fill in some of these. There we go. Just to add a little bit of shape. So that his stomach and his arms don't look like they're made of flat cardboard, but are three-dimensional. <laughs> and we'll do the same for the thingy. Whoops. Actually, I used to just create a layer and then um, set that layer to alpha lock, which means you can't paint outside the, what you've already painted, and then just paint over it. But now I'm taking a little bit more care because I want to upload these as content packages for my patrons, which means you get to see all the individual steps like as individual pictures. And it's a lot easier for me to save these later if I'm taking a little bit more care. Yeah, once again, I feel really gratified about using um, a model, so to speak, just to get the sort of the pose right. Now, oh, that looks a bit more three-dimensional. I'm happy with that. Okay. <laughs> yes, and uh, I agree, just to say that again, I agree that the smile could be a little bit bigger, but I was trying to work with um, with the uh, I was trying oh. <laughs> I was trying to work with uh, Uli's face as well as Dinobulan reference. Hey, thank you, Iceblow, for following. Thanks. <laughs> Let's paint a happy little Denobulan. See, he's smiling. He lives in his happy world. He's very happy. Every Denobulan needs a friend. Let's paint another one. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> yeah, um, he's very happy because he's in his little, uh, little astrometrics lab. 
and uh, you know he's having a great time but then everything on the ship breaks down and they have to quickly save save some aliens from an exploding warp core so um, you know they just shut down the astrometrics lab and now the denobula isn't so happy anymore and tries to contact the commander but it's not working <laughs> Okay, well, I think he's done. <laughs> I think we can call that done. I'm not sure if it looks like Oli at all, but um, we tried our best. <laughs> His little thingies look really awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Don't let him hear that. His little thingies. Some Bob Ross heritage. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. People need to be rescued. That's not very Bob Ross like. <laughs> right, it's just one last thing. Making an artist tag is difficult. There we go. <laughs> also, what we haven't had for a while. Oh man, I've really over, really overdrawn this time. So let's uh, let's give you the, the correct. Um... It's been a while. They're playing our song. <laughs> the lab is missing in the background. No, no, I have to go to bed at some point, Ice Bowl. <laughs> Let me go. There we go. There we are, that's what we did today. Way to open all the windows. So, we made it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for tuning in and uh, staying till the end for me to finish the painting. You'll find the finished version on Patreon soon or on Facebook at some point. And yeah, um. This is it. This is me for tonight. <laughs> to all the patrons as well. I'll see you on Sunday, I guess. And next stream, yeah, look in tomorrow to Orchid Party Community Day. And have fun. Have a lovely weekend. Enjoy the enjoy your summer. Stay healthy. And next um, next Thursday I will be drawing more Arclands. That'll be my last one. I'll do some proper character fan art as well, maybe similar to this. Hope. <laughs> Hope I can get a, get a similar idea across. And um, yeah, the week after that uh, is uh, so in two weeks is Star Trek again. And until then, <laughs> I'll see you. Have a nice evening. 
and yeah, I guess I'll, I'll offer a raid <laughs> if someone wants to raid. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you soon, guys. Good night.